Hey everybody, it's me, Branson Booker, and it's time for a review. As you're wondering, or as you can see, I'm back in town. I just landed. I, I just landed Saturday night from my Florida vacation. By the way, if you want to see that vacation, if you if you're wondering what was he doing at Florida, well, you don't have to wonder anymore, folks, because. The Florida Vacation feature film is here on YouTube. Go check that out when you get a chance. Oh, and don't forget to watch the opening previews before you watch the film because it's, that's how it goes. Or you can watch it after the film. I don't care. Just be sure you watch the film because that's my entire vacation right there. I go to Universal Studios. I hang out at the Solana Village Clubhouse. It, it's just chilling with family. At Christmas time, and you can check that out on your own time. Please do. It's an hour long, lots of footage I got. It's excellent. Now it's time to get into the review. This did not come from Orlando, Florida. However, I do have some goodies that did, and they will be featured in a promo or and get reviews later. But I had this for quite a some quite some time. It, this is another tabletop pinball machine um, from Dollar General. Literally, this came from Dollar General. Here it is. It's it's a sports theme machine, and I, I, I love tabletop pinball machines, and I wanted to start a collection of them, but I really only got two. The other one I have is the Big Bang Theory tabletop pinball machine. That's here on YouTube. Check that out when you get a chance. That's my only other one. And then this one. As far as who made it, I'm kind of stumped. It really didn't say a company who actually produced this this machine. But it, it really does look nice for what it is. There's one little stereo speaker over here. Well, one mono speaker. This is your LED dis scoreboard. And then the buttons include the demo button, which pretty much just demos the music and scoring. And then over here is, I think, your reset button. Yep. And then your on and off trigger thing, which is, I got to admit, though, this is not really a good on and off button. Uh, this will, like, come on when you least expect it. So you, when you, and it's, it's not that sturdy. So... I mean, you could, it, the thing could be in the off position, but then you could actually hear still the, um, still hear the music and sounds and be careful with the off and on button. That's kind of the only flaw. And then here's the LED display screen. Up here are LED lights that flash there. They're also the ball counter. So if you lose a ball, then one light goes down, yada, 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 you get the idea. I kind of like the plunger, how they launch the ball in this thing. It's not, um, the plunger is actually inside. So the ball doesn't plunge up to the uh, flippers here, flipper buttons on the side. The plunger actually goes up and then comes out right where you see bonus 30. And then it goes into the play field. Which is, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Sometimes it doesn't hit the bonus 30. Sometimes it just goes in the play field. But if it does, it's awesome. Okay, now the only thing about testing this thing is there is no batteries in it. Um, this thing, I, I think, takes 3C batteries. And I do not have 3C batteries because I think they're my in my other Big Bang Theory machine. But, I mean, you can still play it without the lights and sounds. And, uh, in fact, you can turn the sounds off if you don't want to hear any sounds. Which I would kind of recommend doing because the only music that this thing really produces is this, like, drum beat. Like, doom do 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 doom And that's about it. And then the sounds of the bumpers being hit, which is the high 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 squealing sound, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo. kind of gets annoying after a while, no offense, but, I mean, if you want to hear the annoying sounds, it's up to you, I love the blue casing, it's plastic, all of this is plastic, guys, 
I mean, from a dollar store, you wouldn't expect anything more than plastic. I mean, and then here's the bumpers. You got five. The big middle one, red one, is ten. And then the bonus 30 uh, slot there. And then your flippers. This game is actually pretty fun. I, I kind of like it. Oh, there's four flippers. I forgot to mention that. Two on the top play field, two on the lower play field. So, double the action. Or quadruple the action. <laughs> but, well, let's give it a test. Like, like I said before, there's no batteries in this thing. So when I give it a test play, there's not going to be any lights and sounds. And it's not, it's not really that extraordinary. The lights only really come on this thing when you hit the bonus 30 mark. As far as other things are concerned, when you hit bumpers and stuff, the lights don't really flash that much. But I'll just give you a play just to see how, you know, it plays, it functions. Excuse me for one second. All right, let's see if I can do this. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. There's a machine right there. You know what? Hold up. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, now we're set up and ready to go. This is just a small playthrough, so hopefully you guys can see. Maybe I can put the camera down. Yeah. Yeah. Hard getting this stuff on camera, I tell you. It is not easy. Anyway, let's see what I can do here. So I'm playing right now. So like I just went up in the uh oops. I just went up in the 30 bonus thing. So when I did that, all the lights would have start flashing and stuff. Now there's something stuck in the ball hole. For some reason I don't know. That's that's another flaw. I had this thing for a long time, so, and then it goes back and locks in the ball thing. Hopefully you saw that. If you didn't, i just do it like this, uh -huh. and then I'll just punch the ball, and then you can see it in the play field. Okay. Well, this has been my review and slight playthrough of the unknown brand Dollar General tabletop pinball machine. A pretty fun machine. I like it. Not as good as I like my other Big Bang Theory one, but I mean, hey, still pinball. I love pinball. Thanks for watching.